This type of question where we have a cross product and a dot product is pretty common in exams, so we want to always look at this identity here, A cross B cross C equals B A dot C minus C A dot B, which is known as the Lagrange vector cross product identity. So let's have a look at this. As A cross C is a vector and B is a vector, we can cross product with A, so A cross A cross C equals a cross B and now on this bit we can use this identity here and that gives us A A dot C minus C A dot A equals A cross B. Now A dot C we know from here is P which is a scalar so that gives us that P A which is a vector minus C and A dot A by the definition of the dot product is mod A squared equals A cross B. Now all we need to do is get C on the other side so now it's C mod a squared equals p a minus a cross b and as a squared is a scalar we can divide by mod a squared and that gives us that c equals p a minus a cross b over mod a squared answer d